Hi Felters and welcome, my name is Philippa and today is a really good, fun one. It um, was a question that was asked of me by one of my subscribers, Shadows Hatto, and they wanted to know how to needle felt a cube. And do you know, I don't think I've done one, so I had a bit of a practice with some core wool. It wasn't the nicest wool, so it didn't come out very smooth. So this is a carded bat that I'm just taking and I am rolling it up. First off, I went for a sort of a ball shape but it ended up coming out a bit barrel shaped. So it's like a really short barrel and I've needle felted it really, really tight, as tight as I can. As we know, the tighter you roll something, the easier it is to felt. And then I'm gonna take my clover pen with 240 triangulars in it. And we're gonna just secure the wool um, so that you can at least let go of it and have a look at the shape. So it ended up being a short barrel shape. And that worked quite well for me because it gave me a clearly defined uh, two ends and then a bit round the middle. And so there we are, I've secured it and you can literally, you can see the barrel shape and you can see the two ends and this is how you're going to form it. So work on the two ends first because the wool will start to sort of fall out the ends otherwise if you don't work on those first. And I'm not even felting the ends into a square shape. I am just literally felting it round and we're felting it down onto itself so that you're going to get a nice flat surface. Um, the big thing to note that you do not touch the edges of this until right until the very end. You can get really close to the edges further along, but especially at the beginning, you're just felting the middle of these areas. Um, so I'm just felting the other end through, and then we can just have a look at it. So there we are, that's two ends secured, not felted for very long. And then we can have a look and see um, how we're going to form the sides. And it's really quite simple because you can start to form them almost with your um, fingers like that, squidging it and keeping it flat on one side. So there we go, there we go. So you can see there, that's the barrel, but um, you can literally put your fingers either side and start to form it. So you're very gently gonna start felting one side and here I am sort of shaping out a little bit of a square, but I am not overly felting it. I'm just, it's like a gradual, even process where you do a little bit on one side, turn, a little bit on one side turn and do not as I said uh, do the edges now I remember I tried to do a car felt a car shape a long time ago when I first started and I failed miserably because um, that had sort of edges and everything but um, yeah I thought this was a really good challenge to try and do and I'd love it if any other needle felting channels out there would give it a go as well and come up with any other hints and tips for us but this is the way that I found it the easiest to do so here I am working on the next side round that hasn't been felted at all and I'm just spending literally 20 seconds and then I'll turn, do the next side until you've worked over all of them and then you'll just have another little check and it is slightly too long because it came out barrel shaped and if you do have um, too much of a sort of puffy bit standing out on the edge then obviously you can felt that down a little bit but do not overly felt it. Now on this one in particular where I finished the end of the roll where I sort of tucked it in it was not um, that corner was not high enough it was not there and there's nothing you can do you couldn't felt the rest of it too low so I just added a little bit of wool um, just because I knew there's no way of saving that and because it's carded wool it merges really really nicely. So there we are, very loosely felted, and you can start to see the shape forming. So then we go over again with the clover pen. And this has taken me probably about five or six minutes to get to this stage. Mm, yeah, not that long. Um, but in all, because you go to the single needle afterwards, it did take me a good 30 to 40 minutes. You see how squishy it is? I really haven't overly felted this. And so I'm going to gradually go over each side again. And then in a minute, because you can see it's slightly too long, I will, and I've speeded it up so you don't have to um, sit through it all, but I do want you to see how I'm doing it and to see the progress as it moves on. So it's slightly too long. So I will spend a bit longer on either end in a minute and just really felt that down quite strongly and that will make it shorten up a bit. And like I said, any edges that are sticking out a little bit too much, of course you can gently sort of push them in, but try. You can see here, I am trying to leave the edges there. And I'm. this is one of the ends, here we are. And I'm really felting it down 
to make it a little bit shorter so it's going to be a bit more even. If yours was a ball shape in the first place it would probably be even on all sides but however I do like the way that I started with the barrel because it clearly defined the ends for me and so here we are just again going over all the sides so um, I would probably felted it for about 15 minutes or so with the clover pen before I moved on um, you could probably keep going with the clover pen it's up to you but once you go onto the fine needle you get a much smoother more even finish so that's why you go on to the um, single needle so there we are and what I like to do is just give it a little rub on the table just to get it a little bit flatter um, I don't know why I just think it helps me see the edges and definitely do this at the end as well so you can definitely see it's formed but it's really squidgy still um, I really haven't overly felted it much so I went to the 40 spiral tried that first but when we go close up I have actually gone to the 40 triangular which I felt was doing the most amount of work so here I am and I'm going to go over it all in fine detail so this is going to take at least another 10 15 minutes and I am really leaving the sort of quarter centimeter edge bit and we leave that right until the end and um, if you work on one side I like to work on the side one of the sides next to it when you do start to get to the corner you'll see I'll show you as we do it but yeah work over all the sides and it really starts to firm up you can get to the point where you're like which side haven't I done but you can really feel the difference um, when you've felted it because this is the point where you start to get that nice firm felting feel and it doesn't have to be tennis ball hard I'm not you know I don't like it like that so here we go you can see squidge squidge definitely not not giving um, in at all and then this bit if I twist it there you can see it's that's the side I haven't felted so I know that I've still got that side left to do and I do get quite close to the edge still but not completely so here we are I have felted every side it's looking a lot firmer but we still need to tidy up the edges so I like to give it a little rub I just feel it makes it nice and even and then here we are right so going along the edges it's really simple you go along one edge um, I don't even really go right into the top top edge bit so I go along one edge and then I rotate round and I try and do the the edge behind it because I think then you know you've done that one completely and you've firmed it all up so it is a bit confusing when you're doing the edges which one you've done but you spend another five minutes going all the way around the edges and your cube is done so it was a really interesting challenge and I'd love any other hints and tips from other people would you put a bit of pre felt on the top I tried that didn't really work very well but um, I really enjoyed doing this and do have a look through my technical playlist for other fun videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.